we had a study uh, that looked at exercise in multiple myeloma. You may have seen some videos before where we've talked about exercise and the importance of it. And this study looked at strength training and how we can improve the quality of life of our patients with multiple myeloma. There was another study that looked at uh, diet and nutrition. We all want to find ways uh, to eat better and to uh, have a, a greater impact on our life through our, our nutrition. And this was a study that looked at a, a specific kind of nutritional intervention that could even potentially delay the progression of multiple myeloma. Still a little early, still a little preliminary, but really fascinating to study that kind of research and the impact it could have on our patients. Thirdly, there was a study called Love Sick that was presented by our friends from The Ohio State University. And here they evaluated the interplay between a patient and their partner when that patient was going through autologous stem cell transplant. We know that myeloma doesn't just affect the patient. It affects their whole dynamic, their whole community, their family, and those that surround them. And studying that and understanding that so we can give the best experience possible is absolutely critical.